Right, yo guys, just from Act 2 here, and today we are back with not in Microsoft Flight Simulator, so I'm going to be showing you how to install the fly-by-wire Airbus A320NX modification. Right, so before we get started, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell as it will help me a lot and you won't miss any more of my uploads. Alright, so you can go to this link that is in the description below and I will link it in the description below. And the first thing you want to do, so this is going to install a uh, installer. This isn't going to actually download the Airbus file itself. And so we're going to install this installer and then the installer will install the mod. Now this is a much nicer way of doing it because you can use this same installer uh, application to update it and I will show you how to do that as well and it's very simple to use. Um, the old method in one of my older videos where I showed how to install it is still valid however this is a nicer option. So first thing you want to do is click this a320nx downloader.zip and just save that to your computer. Now what you want to do is unzip that. And open that folder. As you can see I've got an older version here. So you ignore that. And click a320nx downloader.exe. Run anyway. Okay. Now you'll be greeted by this screen. And first thing you want to do is click change destination folder. So what you want to do is go to your Microsoft Flight Simulator mods, uh, your community folder. So the best way I found to do that is first thing you want to do is go here, click run, then put percentage sign, app data, percentage sign, and you'll be greeted with this. Now you'll see Microsoft Flight Simulator here, and where we are installing the the mod where you would normally install your mods would be packages community and you can see everything here these are all my liveries and we have the a320nx mod up here so what I generally do is go back here to Microsoft Flight Simulator and I will create a shortcut and put that on my desktop just makes your life a lot easier when you want to install more mods so I can go to my desktop and find a Microsoft Flight Simulator shortcut click packages uh, and community select that folder there that's great now all we want to do is you can install the stable version by clicking stable version and it will go ahead and do that or you can click the development version which was just here if you want the development work version very simple now when you load this application up it will also scan your a220nx folder and make sure kind of it's up to date and everything so you can every now and then check it if it's not up to date it will let you know and then all you do is click stable version and it will basically reinstall it with the latest version of it now every few updates the downloader itself will need to be uh, reinstalled so you can literally just do what i've just what i've just done to install it just it will come up with a yellow well orange uh, message here saying that your install is out of date and there'll be a button there you go everything is installed there'll be a button which will say um you know you can find the latest installer version here click on that and it'll take you to the same page we installed it from here and then repeat the process i've just said and basically do it that all again essentially but that's not for every Airbus A320NX update, just every kind of, every few. Now we're going to go into Microsoft Flight Simulator and see if it has been installed. Alright, so here we are back in the Microsoft Flight Simulator and I've loaded up the Airbus A320. Now, you don't, the, the fly-by-wire mod won't show up as a separate aircraft. It will just basically overwrite the default Airbus. So you can just just select the, um, regular Airbus A320 so 
how do we oh also uh, I don't recommend setting any liveries just use the default just to minimize the amount of mods that are at, pre at play um, to minimize any uh, crashing or anything just in case so if you start loading up liveries and it starts crashing then obviously that's not got anything to do with fly by wires mod if you've tested it without liveries first so in the cockpit how do we make sure that this is the fly by wire version and not the default one now the fly by wire version changes many 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 different things um here but the best way is well first of all mcdu you can see that it uh, <laughs> has changed that quite a lot we have more pages and the full kind of like change log and features will be on their on the fly by wire website which will be the second link in the description um, and it will have a full list of kind of updated features and everything there now the best way to uh, test it are uh, you can go over to the ideas here now the default Airbus haven't got these modeled therefore if these work as they are you can see here we can move them it doesn't say in up as it does kind of oh look they've added these now as well again these don't work with the default one so if these are working then you are running the Airbus A320 the fly by wire mod which is an amazing mod by the way now you can uh, test it with liveries with the mega livery pack uh, video to that how to install that will be in the description below and it's actually the same video as when I installed the uh, fly by wire mod with the old kind of method as well so you can check that out if you wanted to but yeah thank you guys I hope you enjoyed the video I hope it worked and helped if you have any issues let me know in the comments below and I'll try to respond and help you but yeah uh, I'll see you in the next one guys